Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. This video you're about to watch may be disturbing to some viewers. Please be advised. Now, what is that supposed to mean for a buffet video? Well, all right. I, I shoot the buffet and sometimes it's not exactly a nice buffet. Okay, now, this buffet, the last time I was here, I made a review and I called it the wish.com of buffets. You know, they put up the, the nice photos, picture of the crab legs and everything. And then you go in and everything is like wish.com. All right, but it is a buffet that is open in Las Vegas. So I feel obligated to review it anyway. So what you're about to see this uh, this is not a good buffet, but please don't press dislike because you're like, what the hell? Ew, this buffet, ew, you know? Think of it this way. I'm saving you time and money, right? Okay, so for that alone, please press like if you do, you know, find that it was of a value to you. So, ah, guys, all right. I wasn't even going to post this video, but the public must know. And now, the buffet at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino Las Vegas. I'm sorry. We have the drink station over here. Soda machine. More soda, juice, cups, coffee. <laughs> oh, soda machines. And we're passing by the dessert station. There's a bunch of desserts over here. Mm -hmm. That looks interesting. I might try that in a bit. Yeah, ice cream. And here we have the cut turkey and roast beef for you. The roast beef is uh, currently not here, but that's fine. Got breakfast foods. More breakfast foods. We have here lox and bagels. Ah, some good stuff. Some uh, beef fritters, biscuits, corned beef hash, and uh, biscuit gravy. I guess they make omelets for you here as well. Yogurt and things like that. Fruits. Butter and peanut butter and a nice hot toaster for you. Got a bunch of clean plates. Some uh, pieces of fruit. Here's the salad. Things for your salad. This must be over here where they make the omelets. Ah, bacon and sausage and eggs and potatoes. Yeah, I just want to get the exposure for the egg for you. 
Hmm. Bread and uh, stuff like that. They have like mac and cheese, beans, pork loin, and barbecue chicken. Not bad. And we're coming around here. Uh, side dishes, mashed potatoes, vegetables, seafood, something, brown gravy. And they say there's a seafood station in the back. Let's check this out. See what they have. Yeah. Italian wedding soup. Right, some grits and oatmeal and things like that. All right, we got uh, smoked salmon, some sushi, shrimp. All right, nice. They got crawfish. I might get that. Got some clams, oysters, lemon, and uh, stuff like that. Soy sauce, chopsticks, and clean plates. All right. Here we have a uh, hand washing station. And more drinks. Coffee. Some milks. You got chocolate 2% and whole. More coffees. Some juices, some sodas. Uh, water, fresh water. I guess this is just tea. And that's it. The MGM Grand Cafe. All right, let's eat. I started off with the oysters on the half shell. They actually tasted a little funny, didn't smell very fresh. I did not go back for more. I don't think I got sick from it or anything, but I only had like uh, just a little bit of it. Okay, so moving on, I got some of the breakfast foods. The bacon was bad. It was pretty old and overcooked the uh, country gravy it, it tasted bland the eggs just wasn't I don't know it, it, the eggs were just not very egg like not, it, it, this plate wasn't good so now we have the uh, pork loin which was extremely tough and rubbery it, it's like cutting it was a hassle and then also chewing it was you know, so I took a couple of bites of the pork loin and I chucked it but the mac and cheese was good I don't think anyone can screw up mac and cheese okay moving on next this is from the carving station over here we have the roast beef which is a part of the cow that is like really tough it was extremely chewy couldn't eat that but the turkey was really good because in a way, I think the turkey is something that they don't cook, but it tasted like processed food turkey. It didn't taste like turkey that you would get from like a real turkey. It got that, that salty injected chemical taste to it, which I actually like. So I ate all the turkey. And moving on, now we have the crawfish. I believe this crawfish, they just like, you know, got it from a bag in China and just chucked it out there. There's no seasoning. It came cold. And, um, oh boy, I'm telling you, you know, it, it was, some were good, some were squishy, uh, and uh, some broke too easily. But I would like to have it with some melted butter. They had no melted butter. So I had to melt my own butter. I got a bowl of hot water. 
got some hard butter, got a cup for that uh, came with the soy sauce or whatever, and I melted my own butter, and and um, you know, it it's, it didn't even help because the the crawfish, you know, I enjoy it, but it just had no flavor whatsoever. It, it tasted really bland, and so uh, I ate a second plate of crawfish, as you can see. And then by the time I got the dessert, I took some off the dessert station and I took a photo, but I just wasn't feeling the dessert. So I actually did not taste the dessert, although I should have taken it with me because now I'm hungry and I got nothing to eat. I have to go downstairs and look for some food. And well, there we have it, MGM Grand Buffet. A buffet I do not recommend. It wasn't good last time I was here. It's just not good now, so hey, you know it felt like I was eating in a cafeteria that is uh, where the food isn't really made well. Now, in in contrast, the Bacchanal buffet I know is much more expensive, but they cook everything like a restaurant will cook it for you, you know, tasty and flavored and everything. Uh, even the Bellagio buffet, which is less expensive than the Bacchanal. It, the food was excellent. Everything's well made, fresh, and everything. But this place, in a way, I feel like the employees there just don't really care about the buffet. You know, it's like they they just are here. Here is some basic nutrition. You get full out of it. You you're not here to enjoy it yourself. And you know that's that's the impression I got with the food. The service was okay. The people were nice, but. The food was just—it's just not—it's just, not, just not there, you know. I, I'm disappointed that I actually paid money for it, and uh, I don't know, man. I would highly suggest that if this is your budget for a buffet, head on down the street to the Excalibur. I made a review of that in back in July, and that buffet was really good for what it is. Basic foods done well, right? And also try the Luxor. The Luxor was really bad last time I went there. It was pretty much the same as the MGM Grand Buffet, but you know things have changed. They reopened it after the Corona, and so it may be remodeled. I don't know. I'm gonna go to the Luxor tomorrow, and then I'll have a video of that up soon. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I have to show you this buffet that I don't like. But hey, it's just my opinion. You know, if you want to come try it, it's like uh, thirty dollars. You try it. It's open for uh, brunch, and it closes at three. Then you got until like three thirty before they take all the food away. Uh, but do check the website for because you know things are always changing. You know, Corona and all that. All right, have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching.